Okay, so I have a customer that sent me three Ames power inverters, and they all appear to be the same model, PWRINV2500024W. They look like they're 2500 watt inverters, 24 volts. Second one, receptacles both look good on that one. Nice and flat, mounting tabs. Back looks okay, no physical damage there. I went ahead and applied my power supply to it, which is current limited, at 10 amps and it was pulling 10 amps at 1.1 volts so i'm going to go ahead and do an ohm check on the terminals and i've got 0.4 ohms and if i short the leads together i get 0.4 to 0.3 so i've got one tenth of an ohm and some of you may have seen this already take a look at that right there i'm sure if you've been watching my channel for any amount of time you'll notice that capacitor is bulged and it even split so it let some of the packing out which is why they have those marks on the top of the capacitor. So if it does build undue pressure, that will rupture. And you can actually see the cracks in the capacitor right there. So let me see if I can flip it up. You can certainly see it is bulged and you can see the crack on the lower portion of the relief. Well, let's go ahead and pull the board out of this thing. But before I do that, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and pull some of the fuses out and see if my current draw goes away, especially this fuse right there. Now this one only has 20 amp fuses in it, but we'll go ahead and pull that fuse out then I'll apply power and let's just see if it draws current like it did before. All right, this is interesting. So I pulled that fuse out, it still draws over 10 amps. Now this fuse is a 20, this fuse is a 20, this fuse is a 30, this fuse is a 30, this fuse is a 30, which leads me to believe somebody's had their fingers in here. So next, I'm just gonna go ahead and pull the entire inverter board completely out of the unit and we'll go ahead and do some resistance measurements to check the FETs. Who knows, maybe these are all working fine. This one just got overloaded and these FETs, the output switching FETs are actually bad. Let's go ahead and find out. Well, after I got the board out, I found these two guys down in here. So I wonder if they have something to do with it. I don't think they do. They were probably trying to keep warm. Well, unfortunately, I think this one might be a goner. I don't know if it's going to be worth replacing a bunch of parts in it, but see those little balls right there sticking out of that FET? Yeah, that's the silicone from inside being pushed out because of heat. That one is the same way exactly the same and a couple little balls on that one as well plus if you look down here at these resistors r78 burn up r76 burnt up r71 burnt up r69 appears to be okay though isn't that interesting let's look at the other side now i see a ball on that fet that resistor r92 is burned up I see a ball sticking out of the side of that one r94 is burned up that one has spewed balls as well and R97 is burned up, and look at the balls on that one. That thing's got some big balls on it. So next, the four driver transistors. Are they any good? I kind of doubt it. Those four and those four. I wonder if they're any good. Well, let's go ahead and get the ohmmeter out, and we'll do some diode junction tests and find out. So I'm wondering if this carcass had anything to do with it. The dead moth carcass across the FET drivers. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and brush that out of the way and we'll do some diode junction tests on these transistors. Okay, so first I'm gonna go ahead and check junctions on the output FETs just to see if they're okay. Good junction, good junction, good junction, good junction. Now let's just see if any of these are shorted. Good, 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 good. So I'm happy the output FETs do not check shorted. Next, we'll go ahead and check the driver transistors on one bank. Good, 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 good. Now we'll check collector emitter. I got a short on that one. Check it on ohms, 5.1 ohms, definitely bad. So let's go ahead and check the other bank as well. So first I'm just gonna go ahead and do collector emitter on these guys. I'm just looking for dead shorts. 23 ohms, that's not good. 
So I'm going to say it's going to need a set of driver transistors. It's going to need a complete set of FETs. That is 16 FETs. So I'm going to go ahead and quote this to my customer and we'll see if he wants to continue with this one. If not, thank you for watching this video. Thank you for making it to the end. Go ahead, leave me a question, a comment, a concern down below. I try to read all the comments and respond when I have time. You can follow me on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter at NorCal715. You can email me norcal715videos at gmail.com. Remember, with your help, we can try to keep these things out of the landfill, out of the recycle bin, and out of the e-waste facility. Thank you for making it to the end of this video. I really do appreciate it. Everybody, once again, thanks for watching this video. Everyone have a great day. Bye-bye.